We're hopping in the line to thrift at the Springville DI today. Come thrifting and see what we buy. Speed racer. Look at my button go. We have an entire barn full of furniture. So while there are some really great options here, we're just gonna keep passing and look for home decor today because that's where we're looking to fill our shop and restock our website. We love to go outside to the yard and see if they have any big things. This candlestick or pillar is gonna be perfect for painting, kind of boring as is, but it will work really great for our design aesthetic. It's got a little chip, but it'll be okay. We really, really wanted this box. Both Zeb and I saw it. It's chippy perfection, but at $50, it's just way overpriced. I might have bought it for $30, but $50 was more than I wanted to spend. There were some pallet shelves. They weren't overly impressive, so we passed on those. And just a few other things that we saw that were like, yeah, that's a little large, and moved on. I love a good roll-top desk, and we used to get requests for these all the time when we did custom work, but not anymore. Since having to move from our old shop to the new shop, we've realized that we have a lot of stuff, so we've become a little more particular about the things that we're thrifting. This basket was pretty cool, but it was plasticky and not quite the right color, so I left it there. We're really just trying to keep the same aesthetic in the shop so we don't have to paint so much, and it helps it look more cohesive. With the holiday season coming up, we're constantly looking over the glass section, things for decor, for tablescapes, as well as dinnerware and servingware, all things that are gonna be popular. And so if you guys are resellers, make sure you're picking those up when you're thrifting. Anytime you find good crystal, never pass it up because people are definitely looking for that coming into the fall and Christmas season. We pretty much buy Christmas year round, but this time of year, we're really focusing on it. Coming up to the season, we wanna look for vintage Christmas balls for trees. We're looking for nativities. We love stocking holders. Today, we kind of struck out, didn't really find anything super great, but we look every time we go, and slowly but surely, by the time we put out our Christmas display, we'll have lots of great inventory. I know it's August and we've been talking a lot about Christmas, but I love putting IOD transfers on tins like this. Looking for the plain ones, if they've got transfers on them already, I don't go for those. I usually find quite a few good wood objects to use or turn into something different, but the wood shelving here is out of control. There's just so many little tiny signs and pieces of wood. Not very much of it is usable for what we do with home decor. Jamie's over here digging deep. What did you find? Uh, Leonard silver plate, but it looks like it's got rust on it. Rust on silver? Uh, crystal. Maybe tarnish? Well, so this is crystal. It's not just glass. And I think we can probably clean that off. Yeah. And then it has the matching. How much is it? Two bucks. I didn't oh. even get it. I don't think you can go wrong with and it. It's, some of these I don't love, but this is crystal, so I'm gonna get it. Oh, Slim Pickens in your cart. Hey, I'm doing my best, man. We're always on the lookout for salt and pepper shakers, especially fun sets like this, but I always check the bottom to make sure that the stopper is in there because it can be pretty hard to find, even though you can buy them online. 
This tin was looking pretty cool, but it was a little rough around the edges. I would like it to be a little more clean on the transfer. I know we like shabby chic, but sometimes it's just a little too much from the thrift store. Let's talk about collectibles. Just because the thrift store put it under glass does not mean that it's a good deal or precious. I always like to Google this kind of stuff and see what people are getting on pricing because it's real easy. They've got a collection here in a minute I'm gonna show you. It's real easy to just be like, okay, yeah, seven, eight, nine, ten dollars for these things, and then you look online and they're only selling for ten dollars. And then I've got a whole collection of this milk glass over here that's beautiful, but some of it I can't sell very well, and it's just too high priced for what it is. Zeb took my cart and my arms are full. I feel like you're trying to limit my uh, my shopping. Not limit it. Only to what I can carry. I was gonna go to the yard. It's a one cart store. All right, so the thrift haul is home. Now what? <laughs> now we unpack everything and price everything and get ready to uh, pre-record it because we're gonna be at a football game on Saturday. Thanks for following along with us as we take you thrifting. I'm super excited about this haul. As people are getting ready for the holiday season, they're really gonna want things to entertain with. Yeah, we have tons of glassware, some crystal mixed in here, some silver, and then this fun French pottery. We still have to look it up and see what it's worth. We're not quite sure, but we're hoping it's good. My mom walked in and she's like, ooh, I like that set. <laughs> if you like this video and you want to shop along, visit jamierayvintage.com. Be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY and thrift. <laughs>